Water system that we drink from is filled with pharmaceutical drugs, as well as the man-made chemicals. 2,000 brand new chemicals that are manufactured every year with nobody testing it and nobody checking it. Adding to the already thousands of chemicals that are there, multiplying into hundreds of thousands, if not more, chemicals. Now, what we do know is that the average person cannot afford a very expensive, sophisticated filtration system. So what we rely on today is distillation. And the best of all distillation units today are air extraction distilling units. And they are available worldwide, and you're going to see more and more of these available. Now, the hold back on this, you have to live in an area where there's enough humidity. You need approximately 35% humidity on an average basis. If you live in an arid climate, you cannot use the air extraction system. Second, water distillers can be purchased globally and these actually take the water, the hydrogen and oxygen, away from the chemicals and do it through an evaporation process. That mimics exactly what clouds do. Things evaporate, they go to the clouds, and clouds move and rain comes down. Now, the other problem today is that a lot of people have been getting on the bandwagon of alkalizing units. I've been testing and looking at alkalizing units now for 20 years. There is not one on the market other than the air filtration systems that have alkalizing as options on it that are filters. Not one of these systems, even very expensive thousands and thousands of dollars system, filter the water. And all they do at best is organize the structure of the water to hydrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen. And I'm not sure that happens in many of the cases. What we also know that can be done manually for very little money. There's a flask that you can get that looks like an eggshell at the top and bottom that manually will do the same. So not alkalizing units, distillers, best of all, air extraction if you live in humid climates. When talking about bottled water, you have to be concerned about the plastic. They put a substance in there, a chemical in there, that creates elasticity in the plastic. That's a deadly poison for the human body. It's an estrogen creator. It actually mimics estrogen in the body, so advances cancers, uh, impotence, a whole slew of problems that nobody wants to have. What we have to know is that some of the companies have enough ethics to put it either in bottles with glass or plastics that no longer have these PBAs in them. And if you can avoid the PBA plastic, use a good plastic, it's a good thing to do. And they do make distilled water in that way. When shopping for water in different parts of the world, you have to make sure you're looking for no PBA plastic or glass bottles with distilled water in it.